So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do half my face right away. <laughs> I have to start over. That's so bad. Well, hello, lovelies. Welcome back to Brent's Beauty Boutique. I'm Bren. Uh, many of you already know this, but I'm going to just put it out there in YouTube land. I've never worn foundation. I'm going to be 48 years old in a few months. I've never worn foundation. I've typically had pretty clear skin with the exception of since I was about probably uh, 14 or 15-ish years old, I developed skin reddening. I get splotchy skin, ears. Um, anyway, that's an internal issue. Other than that, I've had pretty clear skin and I've really just never worn foundation. My skin, of course, is changing as I get older. Any of you who are getting older, especially those of you who are over 40, you know exactly what I'm talking about uh, with those skin changes. And from what I understand, every 10 years or so, it, that just ex it exacerbates further naturally. Um, with that said, I know that foundations have come a very long way. If you guys watch my videos, you know that my skin is far from perfect. You know, you see me really up close and raw. <laughs> so I recently picked up a couple of items from Charlotte Tilbury. I had heard some good things. And so I picked up the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And this is in number two, Light. So this is how little I know about foundation, guys. I thought this was a, a, just a foundation. I didn't know that this is more of like a, almost like a highlighter with a little bit of foundation in it from my understanding. Not exactly sure how that works, but basically this is going to give you a nice hydrative glow to the skin from what I understand. Then what I did was I went back online and I ordered uh, a, the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation in the number two Fair, also from Charlotte Tilbury. I believe this is a real sheer coverage. I thought that's a good place to start. Now I do have this little sample of the Tatcha Silk Canvas um, Primer and I am going to use that because I'm going to do half of my face today with a foundation and just see how the difference that it makes and you know who knows maybe it will even you know cover up some of this redness here. So I think what I'll do since the redness at right at the moment anyway is the worst here on my right side, your left. I'm going to go ahead and put the foundation on that side. So, if I don't do this right, just let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I've just watched other people do it, family, friends, and I really don't know otherwise how to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, did I use a, is that a lot? I don't know. <laughs> that looks like a lot. I just kind of dug in there. That, yeah, that's probably a whole lot, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> We're going with it, guys. Don't judge. Do you guys do this with your fingers? Do you, do you do your eyes? I don't know. I'm just going with it. And I hope that you guys can see my skin good enough. I would take off my turtleneck, but with that said, I film downstairs in my back basement. It's freezing down here, and I have to turn the heat off in order to film because otherwise it's so loud you guys would never be able to hear me. My camera's too old to even have a mic that, that would work with it, so... Um, with that said, I just turned the heat off, and yeah, so I'm pretty cold, <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna wear my, my same old turtleneck here. Okay, that's on, I guess. Do you wait? I don't know. We're not gonna wait. We're going right in. So I dampened my beauty blender here. Is it supposed to change colors when you get it wet? I don't know. Well, anyway, yeah, this video, by the way, is just kind of a last minute. I thought, you know, I'm gonna be getting ready anyway, so I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down and do this little uh, foundation video for you guys, because I'm anxious to see myself how this works out. So I'm, I like this doe foot applicator, I think. So I guess I'm just gonna, am I just supposed to put this where I would normally put my highlighter? Oh, it's shiny. It, it almost looks like it has teeny tiny little particles of glitter in it. Okay. All right, we're done. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, do you guys use your beauty blenders for something like this or do you use your fingers? I don't know. I'm going to use this. So, like I said, I'm just going to do half my face. I've just been really anxious to use these products too. So this year, or I should say 2018 is the first time I've actually been um, introduced to anything from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm loving her eyeshadows, you guys, and her lipstick and her um, lip sh lip cheat lip pencil. Really nice. I really like her products a lot. Well, it, this definitely gives a glow, I think. 
Are you guys able to see the difference? Man, I swear that redness is just, it is a nuisance sometimes, you guys, but you know, people have to deal with much worse things. It can be kind of annoying at times. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I've seen most people put the foundation on the back of their hand. I'm a, how much am I supposed to use? Is that enough? Maybe I'll do a little more. I, I have no idea. I don't know if this is the right color for me. It's hard to tell next to all my redness. I have no idea. We're about to find out. Anyway, this might look great. It might look horrible. So I guess I'm just, this is what I've seen a lot of people do, right, wrong, or indifferent. Um, if you do it a different way that you think might work better for me, let me know, please. So I guess I'm just going right straight in. I'm, going over, I'm putting the heaviest over the redness because wouldn't it be nice if it would... Well, I'll be darned. Does anybody say that anymore? It does. It is light, but... Huh. Interesting. Sorry, sometimes I forget I actually have the camera on. And I just, like, start doing my thing and... <laughs> try to make sure I stay in frame here. Okay. I think I'm patting too hard. I don't know. Do you, go, do you go over your eyes? I'm just going to go over my eye and under. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Okay. I feel like a real dummy right now. <laughs> eye makeup, I can do all that. Foundation, no. Definitely not my, uh, my realm of expertise by any means. Hmm. Okay. What do you guys think? Do I need more? Can you even tell a difference? I don't know if I can even really... I do think it covered up that redness a little bit. I do. Maybe I'll use a little more. How much am I supposed to use, you guys? Really, I, I have no idea. Do I need a lighter color? Do I need a lighter color? Do I need more coverage? So I'm going to do this. This is probably totally blasphemous in the makeup world but <laughs> I'm just gonna do it because I really I want to see I just want to see if this is really doing anything let's really put it I have some pretty deep 11s is that what they call them these wrinkles right here because I I'm very expressive <laughs> and um Let's put some over that because my thing is that I want my face to look nice. I want my skin to look nicer. Not that my skin doesn't look nice. I think that for my age, I feel like my skin looks fine. Sometimes I just want that flawless look. I, I do have some uh, pigmentation issues in my skin and, and then the redness, you know. I don't know. I'm just going on and on, guys. Sorry. I'm just going to take a quick sip of coffee and... <laughs> So, what do you guys think? Did it make any difference? This is, this side has nothing. Oh boy, redness. So this side has nothing, of course. And this side has the uh, Flawless Filter as well as the Light Wonder Foundation. I think I can see a little difference, but, I mean, I just applied this, and unless I applied it wrong, I feel like it's already enhancing my pores right here a little bit that could be I don't know which one it might be both it might be one or the other I'm not sure I don't know um what do you guys think did I do it right should I have put more of this on did I put this on right um I really want to know if you guys would be so kind as to help me out um this is like I said, this is new for me. I'm learning. I really want to at least have the knowledge of being able to, you know, create that f flawless finished look if, if that's the look I'm going for. I don't think that it's necessary. You know, like most of you know, I enjoy just, you know, coming on camera. I don't do anything with my facial skin. Uh, usually I just do my eyes I, I'll just do eye makeup or lips and what have you I don't do foundation and, and or anything like that typically but you know I, I just 
would like to have the option but I'm not by any means saying that it's necessary I just you know I want to dabble in that world a little bit and just see what all the fuss is about and and if if and or what improvements it might make for me as I'm talking to you guys here I'm just kind of trying to see if anything's breaking up if I notice things in my fine lines like I said I feel like it enhanced the texture a little bit right here or the the pores I should say right here and and texture um, definitely feel like it enhanced this my uh, little crinkle right here my little mouth wrinkle um, is there a foundation out there that would cover pigmentation issues as well as not subtle in fine lines and wrinkles something that's not gonna look cakey something that will look glowy kind of like this but something that's going to give me a little more co coverage actually the coverage seems nice it, it kind of I don't know did it even even anything out really you guys did it do anything I don't know I am gonna go ahead and set that using the uh, veil translucent setting powder um, from hourglass and just see if that makes any difference I don't even know how much to use but oh powder See if that makes any difference, guys. I mean, honestly, I do think it helped a little bit with the redness. I really do. Right here. Because this side was worse than this side initially. I do think it helped. What do you guys think? I do have a, from It Cosmetics, a Transforming Porcelain Beige uh, Bye Bye Redness. I rarely use this once in a great while if I'm going out or something um, and I'm particularly flushed I will use this but I kind of typically forget it's there but why don't I go ahead as long as I have you guys here I'm just gonna use the brush that it came with um, again I'm not sure how to use this I'm just gonna dip my brush into it a little bit it looks like a lot uh, and what I've done with this typically I've never worn this all over my face ever I've put maybe dabbed just a little bit here or there like I said if I'm going out or something but I've we're just gonna see so we're gonna put this on the other side obviously oh I think I got a lot you guys but that's okay hopefully I'm not being unfair here wow look at that like I said I've never put this all over my face so glitter <laughs> well I'll tell you what if anybody can put this to the test for redness it would be me actually <laughs> that covered quite well didn't it you guys why have I not been using this seriously that looks really good do you guys use this does it continue to look good do you put it all over am I supposed to yeah I don't know I should probably read directions once in a while. <laughs> I might learn something. But even from here, like my mirror is pretty far away. And even from here, I, I'm seeing a little bit of texture, like right in here. I don't know, maybe, is that unavoidable? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's unavoidable. I don't know. Let me, let me get a closer peek here. Yeah, I mean, to me, this looks a little cakey. Like, I don't know. Okay, I have some thoughts. Well, first of all, I'm guessing that I maybe put this on too thick. I don't know, but it's already looks like it's breaking up. Can you guys see that? I don't like it on my skin. I mean, I, I would maybe dab just a little bit like on my cheeks, but... If you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. Now, I didn't put primer or anything on. I don't know, maybe I'm so, I sh probably should have, to be fair, should have put primer over here. Duh. Didn't think of that. Anyway, uh, no primer on this side, though, by, with the It Cosmetics. Um, it did cover the redness, though, which is exciting, but I feel like it looks really bad on my skin. I don't like the way this looks on my skin at all, and honestly... Since I put the powder on my skin on this side, I don't like that either. 
I don't know. I'm disappointed, guys. I know that this is silly. I know this is silly to feel emotional because I had high hopes. I really was hoping that, I guess I was hoping for some kind of a miracle. People have often told me I have too high of expectations and I guess this is one of those times. I just kind of thought that maybe I'd actually be able to you know, cover up some of that redness. Like I said, it's part of who I am and I've lived with it for years. But there's times, especially <clears throat> when I'm filming for you guys, I sometimes feel like, okay, is somebody going to see my video? You know, especially if I were to do like a skincare video or something, you know, I feel like somebody's going to look at my video and say, well, who's she to talk about skincare? Her skin looks horrible. She's all splotchy and red, you know? Um, but like I said, that's an internal issue. I can't help that. And it has nothing to do with my skincare. Well, sometimes it does if, it, if my skin's irritated, but typically it has nothing to do with my skincare. Uh, it, it's just an internal issue. But um, I guess, you know, I just thought maybe for the first time I'd be able to actually kind of cover it up just for filming purposes especially, just to look, not to be deceptive in, in any way, shape, or form, just to be able to not have that redness for a while, you know, at times, especially if I'm doing a real close-up. These products actually helped. I feel like it has subdued the red, redness considerably um, on both counts, really. Uh, and, and to be fair, this the, the IT Cosmetics, I used more of that. I used more product of that. So just to be fair, I think they both did a pretty good job of covering the redness. But with that said, I don't like the way my skin looks. I feel like my skin looks really cakey and, and kind of like flaky and crusty. And perhaps that's the preparation. Maybe I didn't use enough of this or maybe it's not the right one for me you know there's there, there just really is a lot more involved in foundation using foundation than I ever dreamed really uh, like I said I never knew about primers and any of those or any of that stuff you know um, so forgive me for just feeling having a moment uh, you know I know that we all deal with things that bother us and like I said you know in comparison to somebody who doesn't have a warm bed to sleep in on when it's you know minus 20 degrees outside or any time for that matter this is so silly and and th that's why sometimes I feel silly talking about stuff like this however I'm human you know everything's relative and I personally would never diminish the way somebody else feels about something just because of a comparison to something greater for example you know um but anyway all that said <laughs> sorry this this video took a weird turn but um but you know i'm just being real with you guys you know this the redness it i've had it most of my life all of my adult life and you know there's times when i was still flying i think i've mentioned this in another video where you know i'd be on the cart serving drinks or food years ago and you know i'd actually have passengers who would um who would just ask me if I was okay because I'd be so red and usually it would be half my face I even had I would have doctors who would be flying who would be asking me like are you okay do you feel okay <laughs> you know, I'm like yep this is just an everyday occurrence for me pretty much um, all that said you guys I'm not hating the look but there yeah it's not ugh, I just don't think it looks that good how do you guys do it I see these people who wear foundation and their skin, I feel like their skin looks really good. And yet I look at mine and I just feel like it's really cakey and I don't know. I just feel like it shows so much texture and every single fine line that I have <laughs> that I don't know. So if you look here, this is the side I use the It Cosmetics. Where is that? Like right here you could see and like on both sides I feel like there's you can see the texture here um so I don't know I don't know it's a little disappointing you know I mean I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave this on all day I just want to see how it feels 
on my skin if it gets any worse which one holds up um, I don't know it's you know we'll see we'll see I don't know uh, I, I really want to hear from you guys though if you'd be so kind as to let me know what kind of foundation works for you if you have the texture like I have or the fine lines the wrinkles even deep wrinkles you know um, like my 11s and my forehead and you know if what has really worked for you what primer do you do you recommend I'm looking for recommendations from you guys this time because maybe I really am too fussy maybe my expectations really are too high because maybe there maybe it doesn't exist where it's just this flawless airbrush look without you know having any of those the texture or any of the the um, negatives that go with it all that said guys this video is already getting a lot longer than I'd hoped but I just wanted to come on here I wanted to share that with you guys because I thought hey I've been anxious to see how these perform on my skin I've been anxious to try it out and I thought you know I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna share it with you guys I'm gonna be fully transparent with everything um, and uh, that's just who I am so thanks guys for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it sorry about the occasional emotional uh, moments but you know hey that's me I'm human give me your recommendations down below if you have any if you wear foundation really would like to hear from you guys I'm gonna try some things out we'll do this again if you guys want to see it and uh, see how how things work out with this I don't think it looks bad from from afar I don't know how it's gonna be for you guys because I have you zoomed in a little bit but from when I look in my mirror which is you know a few feet away from me it looks good but then when I you know when I'm like this I'm like Ew, I don't know you know <laughs> so maybe it was my application maybe I didn't do a very good job you know operator error so to speak <laughs> we'll see anyway that said I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up I would be so grateful if you're new here if you'd subscribe to my channel helps out my channel a lot I appreciate it helps me keep coming to you also if you click on that little bell next to the subscribe bar you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video I'd love to have you guys here thanks for joining me today guys I appreciate you carving out a little time out of your busy day to spend some time with me love you guys thanks I'll see you soon Bye.